Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Tops Triple Threads Baseball. Nine box, pick your team number eight. And look at this. We were able to fill it straight up. No fillers. Love that. Here on Tuesday the 20th. Emma with that last pot mojo bought the Marlin. Thanks everybody for knocking this out. One team at a time, no filler. I appreciate it. Next inner case break will be from a fresh case. Good luck. Now after this, we've got another uh, got another filler and then a five box Bowman Draft first edition break, random team break coming up. After that, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Michael's thinking maybe some Prism Choice. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Maybe some more Hit Parade. Jaspi exclusive. All right. Randy Johnson, 243 out of 299. Diamondbacks edition going to Kevin. Willie Mays to 150. That'll be for the Giants. Greg O'Neill Cruz, 1 out of 50. Rookie, 1 out of 50 for the Buckos. That's going to be for Matt Smith and the Pirates. Nice. And a Christian Yelich for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Martin. And Kevin has the uh, Diamondbacks. We'll get the Diamondbacks edition of the big unit. We got a triple relic. Backstop shutouts. Buster Posey. One out of nine. This Buster going to Greg and his Giants, my rivals. Yeah, he's pretty good. And behind Mookie Betts is Brady Singer. 89 out of 99. This musical hit going to A. Shams and the Kansas City Royals. I wonder if he's, you think he's, what do you think he is? A tenor? An alto, maybe? We got Triple Relic and Autograph. Edgar Martinez. Nice. 15 out of 18. October Slugger. He's done some things in October. That goes to Martin and the Mariners. And we got Tatis Jr. 10 out of 48 going to Logan and the Padres. We, had, we, were at, we asked before the break, you know, do a, little, do a little roll call. What team do you have? What are you looking for? Logan was saying, was said, any Padre. It's kind of a nice pattern. It's got some little stitching right here. I like that. All right. Good start. Next box. Yeah, I, I think the numbering, they're trying to... Well, this one looks normal. 224 or 299, Derek Jeter. That's for the Yankees. Matt Smith. 
they will give you some odd numbers sometimes. This one looks normal. 97 out of 150. Uh, Xander Bogarts for Boston for Martin. Alex Bregman at 150. 001 out of 150. And then Hunter Green to 199. I think the numbers are divisible by three. Is that where the goofy numbering comes in? Here's 19 out of 75. Triple relic and autograph, Josh Lowe. How low can you go? But sometimes you get like 259 or some something like that. Oh, oh here's a wander. And that is for Daniel and the Rays. And there's Mike Yastrzemski, 21 out of 48. Is 48 divisible by 3? I guess it's not 16. 3. All right. 16 threes makes 48. Not sure. I mean, that doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason. Like the, out of 9, I get, I guess, because it's out of... I don't know. There's Mike Yastrzemski, though. That'll go to Greg and the Giants, along with that Buster Posey. Oh, some of that coating coming off of that Buster Posey. It's kind of weird. Uh, how about Brandon Marsh? Premier, premier. 26 out of 36. Going to the Halos, that's going to be for Gino. And then we've got a Reed Detmers. 142 out of 199. For the Halos. Yeah, he's got a great beard, Brandon Marsh. I feel like the Ames kind of gave up on him in a little a little too quickly. Right? He had a great first I mean he had a premier premier, according to that card. I feel like his first year was great, and then this year, this current year, half a season in, a little bit of a slump, and then boom, they shipped him off to Philly. Where he did fine, I want to say. He's getting regular starts. Making World Series starts. Yeah, I don't think Philly minded that at all. It's Jared Kalanick to 199. Mel Ott to 75. Cal Ripken Jr. to 259. And Buster Posey to 199. Behind Big Mac is Triple Relic and Autograph, Ryan Vallad. 7 out of 50. Rockies. Patrick with the Rocks. And there's Giancarlo Stanton. 22 out of 27. Matt Smith with the Yankees. All right, and then who did they send back to the Angels? Was it Mickey Moniak, maybe? I don't think it was exactly lighting it up in, in the minors. 25 out of 27, Chris Bryant. Left, center, right, and first. Versatile. I feel like that's the, that's the modern ball player these days, right? Because you get a lot, of, uh, a lot of positional flexibility. And we've got Jared Walsh. 63 out of 75, jersey and autograph. All right, first third of the break done. Let's get into the second third. Oh, Moniac was for Syndergaard, okay. 
feel like they gave up on Syndergaard a little too early too. I was reading some interviews with uh, with with Syndergaard. He's pretty bullish about his. Uh, I think he likes this one-year deal with the Dodgers. I think he could spin that into a, uh, a multi-year deal, just like how the Dodgers. You know, Dodgers have done this. They've they've gotten some guys on one-year deals, made them look like all stars, and then and then they go off to sign multi-year deal. Tyler Anderson, Andrew Heaney. They did that with Brandon Morrow a while back. But yeah, Moniak might be, is he, he might be getting close to bus territory considering his uh, draft status. There's Trevor Story to 299, Martin. It's Kalanick to 125, that'll be for Seattle, that's going to go to Martin. Carlos Correa to 199. Apparently an issue with his medical. Giants were going to announce him, but some issue held that up, which is interesting. It doesn't happen too often. There's Jeter to 299. Saw in an interview with James and Tyler. He said Rizzo told him he'd love it in Chicago. Said they were all great there, and if you need anything to contact him. Wow, why does Rizzo hate James and Tyler so much? Just a lot blatantly lie to him like that, Rex. Scoops at first, Matt Olson. One out of twenty seven. Braves, John with the ATL. And we got a redemption. Congratulations. You are due to receive a triple threads autograph single jumbo relic emerald parallel of Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. We'll might see the city first, unless his first name is long. Ooh, about the same. A and D. Atlanta, Arizona. Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. Yeah, Dansby Swanson, Braves edition. Oh! Triple Relic, Triple Auto, Cardinals, Ozzy Smith, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, 20 out of 27, an inner case hit. That's Ryan with the Redbirds. And then we got Dustin Pedroia, Laser Show, 6 out of 36, Red Sox. Martin. Rex thinking maybe that means Rizzo signs a one-year deal with the Cubs. That'd be a Cubsy thing to do. We're rebuilding, but let's waste a roster spot on an on an aging first baseman. Perfect. Next. Uh, they won't be rebuilding in five years. They'll be rebuilt already. I love the optimism, Rex. Joey Votto to 99. That's for the Reds. There's Austin Riley to 259 for the Braves. John. Trey Turner to 299. The Dodgers and Greg Maddox to 150. That's for the Braves. That's right, Julia. Yeah, remember when they were rebuilding for 100 years? That, that's what Cubs know how to do that. Rebuild. Ooh, 
Ooh, Ronald Acuna Jr., triple relic, one of one, Nike swoosh. Wow. That's John G. with the ATL. That's awesome. John, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's sharp, real sharp. And then we got Patrick Corbin, 16 out of 99. It's for Michael, Michael F. and the Nats. <laughs> yeah, I know, Rex. That's why I said I like that positivity. Triple Relic and Autograph, Jeff Bagwell. 20 out of 27. Part of the Killer Bees. Strohs, Richard with the Astros. And then we've got Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 26 out of 27. That'll go to the Dodgers. That'll be for Billy. Whatever happened to that, uh, that, that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot? Did that, did that even last a season? It wasn't bad. I, I I started watching a few episodes. I like the darkness to it. Yeah, it was a lot darker, a lot more gritty, but then then it kind of kind of lost interest. Like it's not a comedy, you know. <laughs> like it's not a sitcom. Definitely a drama. Yes. It was a drama, Rex, yeah. I mean, they had funny moments, but, but um, definitely geared to be a drama. Which I guess if you're rebooting it, if you're bothering to reboot something, which I generally dislike, if you're going to do it, you may as well just... It's like a cover song. If you do a cover song, like... Uh, here's O'Neill Cruz, 299. Like, like Weezer doing Toto's Africa, right? I mean, it's okay. But it's far too similar to the original. I, I wish, I wish they kind of gave it a different Weezer-y vibe. There's O'Neill Cruz to the Pirates. Alex Bregman to 125. It's for Richard and the Astros. Bobby Witt Jr. 83 out of 199. Kansas City Royals. That's going to be for a Shams. I like that orange color right there. Kind of reminds me of one of my favorite ice creams, the orange sherbet. A good orange sherbet kind of has that color. And there's Ken Griffey Jr. 259. I can't find I gotta gotta find a good orange sherbet. Oh there's a Julio Rodriguez. Rex, how how well stocked are you at your grocery store on uh on the orange sherbet? Can you do a stock check for me? Two out of three, Bernie Williams. Go ahead. Bernie Williams, Triple Relic and Autograph, Yankees, Matt Smith, out of fives and under, Train Whistle, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We got more triple threads in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And back here we got Miggy, two out of 48, Tigers, Michael F. Yeah, they put. Yeah, I, I didn't know they were putting musicians in this set. Bernie Williams. All right, we got October Thefts. Kyle Tucker. Like, they're are they referring to stealing a World Series away from the Dodgers? No, I mean I don't think Kyle Tucker was part of that, right? Oh, two stolen bases in the same inning of a postseason game. 
All right, and we've got Nelson Cruz, one out of 10. Piece of his lumber and his autograph going to Michael F. and the Nacionales. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? I haven't really been paying attention, Jimmy, if that's if all the big rookies popping out of the same box. But we did get... We did get, like, that Julio and O'Neal and Bobby Witt. Rainbow. Uh, yeah, Rex, I think... Uh... I think we uh, we're, we're, we haven't really seen orange sherbet in a while. I feel like it's I feel like rainbow for sure. All right, we are in the final third of the case. Good luck, everybody. And then we'll do whatever's whatever's on the schedule, whatever's next on the schedule. All whatever's on there, I don't remember. Huh? Mike Tyre saying, according to the internet, in mid-November, season two of Fresh Prince is set to set to air, and Bel Air season two will premiere on. They have a Fresh Prince. So they have a they have another Fresh Prince comedy edition. Fifteen nine seventy five Chipper Jones sitcom edition for the Braves. Jose Altuve to two fifty nine for Richard and the Astros. Got Chipper Jones to two ninety nine for the Braves. John and Carlos Correa Twins edition to one twenty five going to John. John K. Different John. Yeah, yeah, that's what Mike was talking about. The orange push push pops or push ups, which are pretty good. Especially if they have a Flintstone character on it. Maybe maybe after we go off air though, right, Mike? Mike Tower. You can check those out after. Not now. Not now. You need to be watching Jaspies now. When I go off air, you can check out the pretty ones. Jazz Chisholm. Triple Relic and Autograph. 18 out of 75. And I think that's Last Ball Mojo. Emma with the Marlins. Gets the Future Phenoms Triple Relic and Auto. Last Ball Mojo strikes again. Two out of nine. Randy Otto Zarenia. Daniel with the Rays. Triple Relic, Andrew McCutcheon, Key Brian Hayes, Willie Stargell, 27 out of 36. Oh, oh, oh it's the same thing. Fresh Prince and Bell are the same. Okay. Is that a King's Gold? Sounds like it. Nice. All right, and we got Paul DeYoung. 14 out of 50. Paul de Young. Not to be confused with, with Paul de Old. Here all week, folks. Tip your bartenders. It's all about delivery, Gila. Gila saying that was lamer than some of my jokes. See, the point is, it's all about the delivery. You know, when you deliver a joke like that, Gila, it's just like, oh, there's Gabe with his with his jokes again, jokes. You know, but when I do it, you know, when when the star of the show delivers a lame joke, I mean. We'll get some. You get. You'll get a little extra. LOL. Xander Bogars to one ninety nine. Martin with the Red Sox. 
Ozzie Smith, the Wizard, to 259. Cardinals for Ryan. Got Satchel Page to 99 for the St. Louis Browns. I'll have to randomize that. And then O'Neill Cruz, nice. Green to 250 for Matt and the Pirates. Twenty three out of thirty six, Mookie Betts. Win or go home. Well, Gilo, you just have to learn how to write better. Billy with the Dodgers. Win or go home. They ended up going home. Thirty three out of fifty, Ronzi Contreras. Pirates. Matt Smith. Behind Stan the Man Musial, Brian Della Cruz, 53 out of 75. Triple Relic and Autograph, another one for Last Bond Mojo Marlins. We got Ronald Acuna, piece of his jersey, 3 out of 49. That's right, Rex. Add a K to Joe, you get joke. Every joke begins with Joe. Final box. Austin Riley to 199. ATL. Got Honus Wagner. Wagner? Wagner? Honus Wagner? To 25 for the Pirates. We got Joe Maurer. Nice. 7 out of 18. Oh, Chris Jaspi would love this one. Above average. Above average Joe. Well, it's kind of like me. I'm above average. That'll be for the Twins. That's going to go to John K. And we got Adalas Garcia. One out of 18 for the Rangers. That's going to be for Dustin. All right. I think, I think this is going to be one happy person, a lot of sad people. And I think they're all just relics, too. Let's flip it this way. It's your Triple Threads Baseball Deca Relic Combo Book Card. Ooh, wow. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo, Aaron Judge, Ronald Acuna Jr., Juan Soto, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Nolan Arenado, Christian Yelich. Out of five. Ooh. Out of five. There it is. All right. Uh, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to type all these into the randomizer. So that's not folding down weird. And we're going to see who wins it. So stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Excuse me. All right. Sorry. Welcome back, everybody. It's all choked up about 
about coming back <coughs> from the pause. All right. Um, so one, one quick note. The Satchel Page, St. Louis Browns, actually turned into the Baltimore Orioles. So if we flip back over here, we go to the Satchel Page Wikipedia. Uh, we go to Major League Baseball, St. Louis Browns. You can see the, the Orioles pop up right there. So this will go to Baltimore. So that'll go to Martin and the O's. All right, now, time to make one person uh, really happy and one person really sad. So there are the teams right there. Toronto, St. Louis, Angels, Yankees, Nets, Mets, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, uh, Atlanta, and then the Angels again. All right, so the dice roll, it's going to be two and a three five times on the randomizer. Team on top gets it. And the train whistle. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Goes to Philadelphia after five. Rob Loomis. Rob. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go, gang. Ooh, Michael was guessing Mets. That was second place. Apologies to Zach, who got very close on that. So there it is. The three out of five. Let's take another look at this once again. I mean, that Pete Alonso might actually have some infield dirt on that, too. That's awesome. Your Deca Relic Combo Book Card to five. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. What a break. We got more triple threads in the store. Let's keep it going. I'll see you next time for the next triple threads break. Bye-bye.